was full of everlasting fall. The father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The lineage of the valley of the bright and morning star, the author and creator of all mankind. Lord, we come before you, Father, with all the love of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for a day we never seen before. Father, we thank you for last night's nice even our early rally this morning. Thank you, Lord, for having the angels to watch over all of us. Thank you, Lord, for having the angels to watch over all of us. Thank you, Lord, for having the angels to watch over all of us. Lord, we have the angels to watch over all of us. Father, we need you, Father. So much is going on in the world today. We need you to hold our hand and lead us to God as Lord in the direction you will have us to go. Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless those that are sick and shut in this moment. Some in the hospital, some in the nursing home, some in the down sick at home. We also, Lord, we ask you to bless those that are devastated by natural disaster. Bless those families over there in Ukraine, devastated by the war from Russia, Lord. Lord, bless those that are going through bereavement right now. Lord, have them to read our Father. Earth has no sorrow, heaven cannot be. And Lord, we ask you all to bless and anoint good church service this morning, Father. Bless my Father, the man of God, but he breaks forth your whole word and anoint the power of the Holy Ghost. We ask you all to bless the choir to sing under your anointing, Father. We believe, Father, with your anointing, your anointing will bring all your strongholds, Lord. Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless, Father. Each and every one of them that stand in your prayer. Some need for one thing, some need for another, Lord. But whatever it is, Lord, I know you call upon your holy and righteous name. With an honest and sincere prayer, you be up to heaven and bless what we need, Father. Father, we ask you to bless the church, sir, Father. Bless the man of God that celebrated his anniversary. Bless him and his whole family, Father. Bless the musicians, Father, that she play under your anointing, Father. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you for everything you're doing for us right now. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Lord, we call on your name and you always deliver us. We just thank you for that, Father. Lord, this is your servant prayer. In your son Jesus Christ's name we pray. Let it all say it. Yeah. 
so shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. I read verse 6, 1 through 6, Proverbs 3. May the reading is worthy, blessing to your heart. Let us all sing above lifting boys, an amazing grace, how sweet the sound, that saved a wretch like me. Amen.
church members and the invited guests who have come to worship with us today. I am honored to stand before you at this hour through the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, praising my Lord who has given me this chance to speak to you. Today is a special day in our church since we are marking a great event that, um, that makes our hearts smile. We are celebrating 16 years our pastor joined us to to guide this church. Mm -hmm. We want to remember how the Lord has used him to talk to us about the love of God and show, show us how to grow spiritually. Yeah. Many of us today can testify that we have made a milestone in terms of growth and we can give God glory and honor always. Amen. Let me conclude by saying, let the love of God be with us always and we pray for our pastor to have good hope always together with his family. May the grace of God be upon us as we celebrate this day together. Thank you for the opportunity, and God bless you all for this Amen. Amen.
are touched by someone who makes profound impact upon us. Someone whose kindness and sense of humanity serves to make our days just that much brighter. Someone who reminds us of Jesus and his goodness and his capacity to reach out to others. A gentleman who takes the time to extend his hand and open his heart to all those in need. Someone who, like the shepherd, tends his flock, young and old, with love and devotion. And the flock, in turn, willingly follows the good shepherd's lead, knowing in their hearts that he was sent to guide them in his love and his wisdom to the greenest of all pastors. You see, pastor, there was a reason it was you God chose. Not your good looks, yeah. your perfect hair, or stylish clothes. No, Pastor, the reason that God reached out, reached down his hand and saved you, let there be no doubt. The reason God chose you is because he knew how you would turn out. Amen. Such a man are you. And we are grateful and blessed by your presence in our lives. We appreciate you and thank you for being our pastor.
satisfied with my Jesus. Oh, yes I am. Yes I am. I'm so
more than we are going to be for. And he's so massive. Oh, yeah. He looked out for me. Even though I, I'm not all I should be. How many of y'all can say that again? <laughs> and what makes us so special, very special me, is the fact that he gave his very life for me. What more? What more? What more? Oh, 
of God. As a matter of fact, he used to sing the old song and say, He's a wonder in my soul. Say, yeah. Hey. I feel good. Ah, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We glorify my majesty and we honor the presence of the Lord. Amen. Why don't you just give God a praise for your being here today? Woo! I'm grateful. I said, I'm grateful. We still have breath in our body. Come on, let's show some appreciation. No, 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 it could have been the other way. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. I said, somebody didn't wake up this morning. And I heard the teacher say, I have the activities of my limbs. I can wave my hands. I'm walking here today. And I'm glad about it. See ya. Everything he's done for me. Amen. We honor the Lord in this place, and certainly I honor your great pastor and first lady. Come on, let's give God some praise for him. Hallelujah. In the person of Pastor Dr. Dawson. Amen. And Lady Dawson, I love you. God bless you. We celebrate you for these 16 years of accomplishment and ministry and what the Lord is doing. And we see, we say, decree and declare the best is yet to come. Amen. We do honor Pastor Barrett and First Lady Barrett, Emma Barrett. Amen. We love you, Emma Barrett. Amen. For all of you in your respective places, for all of these deacons and deaconesses. Amen. To the choir, everyone in your respective places, Ms. Woods, God bless you. Amen. I thank God for my beautiful wife, my brother, me. Amen. I thank God for all of you that are here today. Everyone represented. I thank God for my mother. My family, amen, our elder, amen, my family. Thank God for everyone that's here. Amen. I have a word from the Lord. I thank God for our honor, our mayor. Amen. Thank God for Brother Chris Stacy, Peter Chris Stacy. Amen. We love you and all the men and officials, all of you that make up the household of faith. Amen. Let's turn very quickly in the word of God. I feel like preaching today. I said, I feel like preaching. But I ain't going to preach long. So y'all better push and push the fast. Amen. I want to look at a familiar passage of scripture, but there's a word from the Lord on today. I want to look at the book of Acts, the 14th chapter. I want to encourage, if I ain't come for nobody else today, I came to encourage the heart of this great man of God. I want to encourage those of you that are tuned in by Facebook, Zoom, to some of our members that are tuned in, LinkedIn. I thank God for you and I honor God for all of you that are tuned in with us, watching via Facebook, streaming live. Amen. Those of you that are on Zoom, we thank God for you and thank you for being a part of this worship experience. Amen. God bless you. In the book of Acts, the 14th chapter. Amen. And I want to look at verse number, begin reading at verse number 19. I'm going to move very quickly. Praise the Lord. Y'all come to have some church this morning? Yes, sir. I said you come to have some church this morning. Yes, Amen. The book of Acts, the 14th chapter, verse number 19, and it reads as follows. Then, then Jews from Antioch and Iconium came there, and having persuaded the multitudes, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing him to be dead. Verse number 20. However, when the disciples gathered around him, he rose up and went into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor, and I want you to speak, and I want you to shout it as loud as you possibly can. Shout it, yeah. but unharmed. Yeah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Find somebody that can believe God with you, and I want you to shout it one more time. Shout it, yeah. but unharmed. Now you try to understand something that you can be surrounded by enemies. You can be surrounded by all kinds of stuff that might get through your way. But I can't be here to talk to somebody that may up in your mind. I don't care how bad you hit me, I'm going to get back up. I don't care how bad you look at me. As a matter of fact, there's somebody right now under the sound of my voice that have experienced the worst that life can offer and have experienced hit from every angle. It's one thing to get hit here. There's another to get hit before you can catch your breath. Get hit again, but I came to the tree and declare that the hand of the Lord is upon your life, and whatever God ordained will remain. And what the enemy tried to do, he will not do. I wish I had a prayer church in here. I need you to take 30 seconds to acknowledge the fact that you were hit. That it's possible to overcome. That it's possible 
Every day is gonna be alright. Feel good right now. You gotta understand something huh? that God is intentional. Huh? Look at somebody shout intentional.
yourself. Uh, Jack Brain! Hey, can I tell you something? You don't even have to use a whole lot of fancy words. All you gotta do is say, God be God. God don't wanna help me preach you here today. Uh, because he already knows uh, what you're dealing with. Uh, he already knows uh, what you're facing. Uh, but can I tell somebody, uh, you get ready to get a breakthrough. Uh, and you get ready to get a breakout. Uh, God said, I'm about to help you uh, in your low place. Uh, I'm about to help you. Yeah, I feel a praise there. Uh, he said, I'm getting ready uh, to lift you up.
Put them on the back. Woo, help me see. In spite of what you may be feeling, I need you to prophesy in the atmosphere. Child, I'm right where I'm right God, God want me to be. And it's confusing to your enemy. Because you still praising God and you shouldn't be home. You shouldn't be mad. You shouldn't still have a chip on your shoulder. They got to learn to forgive and forget things. Because I'm not about to come this far huh, and allow nobody to take me to hell. Huh. Y'all don't want to help me preach. Huh. I have to learn how to suffer. Huh. I have to learn how to live life. Huh. I have to learn how to live holy. Y'all don't want to help me preach. Huh. And every day I ask God, huh, order my steps. Huh. Lord, teach me huh, your precepts. Huh. Lord, guide my tongue. Huh. Let the word, y'all don't want to help me preach. Huh.
Look at your neighbor and shout, you need to rejoice. Why are you rejoicing? Because God favored you. I'm in the wrong house. I'm in the wrong house. I said God favored you. I'm still in the wrong house. This don't feel like favor. This don't feel good. Yeah. Get differently. Yeah. Y'all 
Lord would help me do it. I was driving in my car one day. And I got hit in the back. Lord help me again. But I was so engulfed in my prayer and my praise. Until I didn't realize I got hit. There was another incident. I was driving to Atlanta. Ms. Woods, and while I was driving, the Spirit of the Lord, I was going to work, and the Spirit of the Lord said, Praise me now, and it's going to preserve your life. Y'all want to help me? He just said and I immediately shifted my station, put on a praise track, and I started thinking about, just thinking about, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you. Y'all don't forget how to tell me, thank you. Pray, God. I want to call the name of Jesus uh, because when you call the name of Jesus, uh, prayer changes things. Uh, I mean, if I'm talking to anybody online, uh, I said when you call the name of Jesus, uh, prayer changes things. Uh, and I learned, uh, and I don't know how to say nothing else. Uh, I call on the name uh, that's sweeter than any other name. Uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, and I begin to call on the name of the Lord. And while I was driving over there, a drunk driver going a hundred miles an hour came out of nowhere, hit the back of my truck, made me flip off the road. I hit a guardrail and bounced me back on the interstate. And anybody know anything about it? Traffic, it's busy, but the power of God, God stopped the traffic. Y'all don't want to help me preach, and I was able to regain control. And then the drunk driver, he hit me in the front, he hit me in the back, knocked me off the road, then hit me on the front, and I was messed up, I was lightheaded, and then the drunk driver kept going. Shaking myself, and I said, No, devil, you ain't about to get away. My tire was bent, the front of the truck was bent, but I got back on the road and I put the caution light on, and I got up far enough when I called the police and got the license plate number. I said, It's a truck driver out the loose. Y'all don't want to help me preach. Yeah. 
But he is forgotten. Yeah. The Bible says they dragged him out the city. Yeah. Your dead body ain't worth nothing. Let's just get rid of you and put you yeah. away. Yeah. And they left him. Yeah. Walked away bragging and boasting about how they ran him off. Y'all yeah. don't want to help me yeah. preach. How they got rid of him. Oh, my God. The Bible says that the disciples uh, came together uh, and they saw him in the street. Uh, and they asked no question. They came around and started praying. Oh, wait a minute. Pastor, uh, as I take my clothes, God said to tell you, make sure you got some intercessors around me. I don't want to help me preach. Uh, we got enough people talking. We got enough people plotting. Oh, 
This is your setup. The Bible says, Paul, oh, not right now, but after they got through praying. Yeah. Yeah. Something, about, something about prayer. Yeah. Prayer got gotten back up. Yeah. And got full oh God. Prayer is to the body what blood is to the body. Yeah. So the more you pray, the more you live. Yeah. And what the enemy tries to do is silence you. Yeah. Stop you from praying yeah. and stop you from praising. Yeah. But baby, if all you gotta do is nod your head. Say anything, I had to thank Jesus. Y'all don't want to help me preach. And I told him in my mind to my mouth got free. Y'all don't want to help me preach here. When my mouth got free, everything else got free. Because you have the power in your to speak life and death, standing all over this building. Hit but unharmed. It was a hard hit. But it wasn't enough to stop me from being who God called me to be. I want to pray for you today. Because there's somebody here that's been discouraged. There's somebody here that's been heavy. And you've been battling with some, some stuff. Somebody talked to me here. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, I'm with you.
abide in his heart. Abide in his mouth forever. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' name. If you believe it, clap those hands and give God a shout of victory.
Suppose you were to die today. And God would say, Why shall I let you into my heaven? Now, what would you say? I'm the deacon in the church, I'm preaching in the church, I'm in the choir. No. Why shall they be on my heaven? I understand what you were doing. Came on one way into heaven, that's through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, how much are you doing in the church? But if Jesus Christ ain't in your life, you ain't going nowhere. Amen. Come by another Christian experience. Little candidate for baptism. Why the blood of yes is running over your veins. Now it's time to give your life to God. Amen. Next, we have a presentation by the church ministry. We're ready for the presentations. Wait a minute. I'm going to get this up again. <laughs> Give him praise and honor to God. Oh, yeah. Just to thank him for the 16 years. Because 16 years ago, something happened in my life. A little after the pastor came. But we thank God for sending him to us. So pastor, you've been a rock. You've been a stone for Jesus Christ at the end. You've been there for us when we needed you. We can't pay you for your service, but this is just a little token of our love. Amen. Pastor Dawson, on behalf of the Deaconesses, we have a token of appreciation for you. 
We thank you for your leadership. We thank you for being our spiritual overseer. And we thank you for godliness. And we thank God for anointing you and faithfully keeping you and keeping you. Amen. Amen. Pastor A. Pastor Dawson, I represent the uh, Pastor's Aid Ministry. We have about three or four men with us, but the ladies of the red, call upon us anytime. We love you. Church.
We wish you years of continued joy ahead. Though even words cannot express appreciation and love for you, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your help, prayers, and your love. You are the hope of spiritual leader who prays with people about their needs, counsels, their, your flock, their life's challenges and fears, and consistently delivers sermons to uplift ourselves. We, the mayor and council members of the city of Bryce Hall, wish you a happy Passover anniversary. Respectfully submitted. City of Bryce Hall. Amen. Amen. You ought to give God some credit. We are 16. I 
know you're ready to go, and I just want to say God has blessed us. But what was exposed today through the word of God Amen. is our future. It's all about us moving forward in the things of God. God has given us some wonderful vision. He's given us some opportunities before we leave this planet to affect our community. So we walk by faith and not by sight. Good to see you, Deacon Fleming. Stand, please. Stand. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you are my idol. You are one of my idols in this world. And I've noticed over the years since I've come to First Safety, if we are doing something, you support us. And I thank you for that. I don't take that for granted. I don't take that for granted. God has been good. God has been good. But God wants to do great. Amen. 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 Good is okay. Good is okay. But God wants to do great. There's a shift in our mindset. We're no, we're no longer looking for good ideas. We're looking for God ideas. Amen. Amen. We're no longer looking for good ideas. We're looking for God ideas. Amen. God is dealing with us. God is delivering us. Come on, somebody. God is healing us. And God is lifting us up. We say thank you. To all our auxiliaries, for all the love that has been shown today. The thing that makes me most proud is family. Family. Her birthday is today. And how old is she? Sweet sister. Look at God. What are you working out? Sweet sister. Thank you, God. Before I go, the reason I said Fallon, because Fallon was the first child, that whenever I finished the song, she would come right here and shake my hand. It encouraged me that such a young person wanted to encourage me to keep preaching this gospel. And she's 16. Come on, man! When she was big enough to come to this office, and I don't know if anybody else noticed it, after I preach, that was come. Come on now! She said, I love her. And she would come. And encourage me. I thank you for that. I thank you for what you gave us today. I thank you. And I love that. Two things. The word that man brought Amen. was a gift from God. Amen. What Valerie gave me over 16 years was a gift. From God. You never know who watch. Y'all hear me? Eyes are upon us. Ask God to give us strength. We thank you. Um, we got something in the back. We got a little something in the back. First AP. Come on now. This in the city. Y'all the 
letting you off, but they're not going to feed you. So they'll sit there in the house and just look at you, and you look at them. They'll bring out another drink, but they won't bring out no food. But down south! Come on. Get right, sir. We're going to feed you. We're going to feed you. So we thank you. I, I got some for our speaker. I hope you got a good idea. God, it's so good. Um, the beginning of the week, I was bent over and I couldn't even walk. My back was out. <laughs>
for that they don't get what they deserve. Isn't that contradictory to a high for a high, a two for a two? What you gonna put that in my Good, how are you? Good. 
Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good.